Purpose-driven brands are a growing phenomenon, but what exactly are they and what distinguishes them from a simply ethical company? That's what we're going to talk about today. Let's go. Hello friends, my name is Matt Brunton. This channel is for the communicators and we're going to talk today about what is a purpose-driven brand. I've got my deck here, it's going to appear for you over there. And I think every company today is under scrutiny on their tax affairs, their inclusivity, their environmental credentials. Mm -hmm. And similarly, a lot of companies are engaging in charitable work. They might give donations. They might organize a, a bake-off in the office or go and do a community litter pick. And all these things are commendable, but it's not what makes a purpose-driven brand. A purpose-driven brand is led by its mission. It's compelled by a vision which is greater than profit. Tom's are famous for giving away shoes, over 95 million pairs to date. And they, for a long time, had their one-for-one -one policy. I saw that when I bought some Tom's shoes on the box. It says, you buy this one pair of shoes, we'll give away one pair. They've now finessed that and they're committed to donating one third of net profits. In 2018, they became a certified B Corp, which is a, a growing uh, organization, which the members promise to balance profit and purpose. And they sign up to a charter of environmental and ethical standards. In fact, one company recently kind of got in hot water over their treatment of employees and B Corp put them in review. So they treat this thing seriously. And these businesses commit to use business as a force for good. They believe in the potential of that in society. Tesla are a famous brand that have grown quickly to be a well-loved brand. But their mission is not to make great looking cars and solar panels, but actually to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Close to where I live, there's this company called Community Clothing, and they've developed a 100% local supply chain. And in the former uh, cotton mills and textile manufacturing towns of the Midlands and the north of England, They've brought into these post-industrial areas uh, a new lease of life in, in manufacturing clothes, something that was the area was known for and famous for. And they've, they've uh, re, reawakened, they've awakened these skills that were dormant. And their commitment to paying people fairly and doing things locally and sourcing things sustainably goes right the way through everything they do. And that commitment makes them a purpose-driven brand. Now, the goal for your organization needs to be relative to your size. I play football in the back garden with my sons who are all under six, and we have some smaller goals set up there. When I play with my friends, I'm an adult, we you know, have adult-sized goals. So Tesla want to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. A village gardening club might want to make their patch a little bit better, but if their goal is to solve the global climate crisis by Christmas, they're going to lose integrity, uh, credibility, sorry, because it's a little bit ridiculous. So you can be purpose-driven wherever you are with a goal that is relative and an ambition that is realistic but still compelling uh, for yourself, for the people that will join and partner with your organization. Purpose-driven organizations gather around a big idea, and it's that big idea that becomes their raison d'etre. They have a, a guiding why. That's the thing that, that leads them. That's the thing they center around, that they gather around. It's their why, their reason for being. And Successful organizations can articulate that well. If you can deliver that why, that key message in a concise and compelling manner, then it allows the message to spread. Often in purpose-driven organizations, you'll also see a set of core values. And these things become a yardstick by which the activity of the organization is measured. Integrity is so important when you put yourselves up as purpose-driven or ethical or anything along those lines. A, a scandal which uh, maybe a large corporation could shrug off could decimate a charity. And we've seen this time and again. Integrity is so important once you put yourselves up 
into um, any sort of commitment to purpose and to ethics. I spoke to a, an ethical design practice recently and they actually made the choices on the software that they used, not based on what was the industry standard, but based on the ethical credentials of the companies. Obviously, the software had to work for them and do what it needed to do. But I thought that was incredible that they'd been so forensic about every aspect of the company that it even went down to something like software. And purpose-driven organizations are different because an ethical company seeks to do the right thing while still maximizing profit. But a purpose-driven organization is led by its mission. And that greater vision becomes its reason for being. I love when I'm working on brand strategy to, to help purpose-driven organizations in particular and help them articulate that and help them develop those values and that mission and that messaging which allows that message to spread. So if you've got more questions about that, feel free to get in touch with me. You can do that via the links in the description and also help me with this channel. I'm aiming to upload weekly, so subscribe to keep me accountable. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.